Okay, everybody, I think that I'm going to be explaining this a lot in other tutorials. I thought I would just do one quick one to show you what I do to go from Blender into either Premiere or After Effects. First things first is we've done our modeling, we've done our tracking. Uh, we've got, uh, in this case, it's uh, the troll on a bridge. And so here he is with our compositing is done here and all that. And we finally come over to the right hand side to the output uh, properties. And I always output in open EXR. And I have my alpha here. And uh, I use a lossy DWAA. Uh, lossy is just fine, makes great files, great, great quality. And I output it onto my drive. Now, when we want to bring it into our live footage, we're going to be using either Premiere or After Effects. Bringing this footage into After Effects is actually really easy because we just drag this folder full of EXR files straight into After Effects and it will create a 30 frames per second um, animation. It's perfect because that's exactly what the Blender uh, file is at. It's at 30 frames per second. We can see right here, I've set it to 30. But if we try the same thing in Premiere, it does not work. If we drag this folder into Premiere, into this project, it what it does, it just brings in all of the AXR files. So that's not what we want. We're going to just de delete that. And instead, we're going to go File, Import. And once we've done that, we can go to our render. And then go into it, hit select the first one, and then make sure the image sequence is selected. Say open. And what that will do is that will create a uh, video animation essentially, but it's got it set up at 29.97. So we want to right click, and because we are at 30 frames per second, point, point zero 0.03 does does make a difference. So anyways, we want to go up to Modify, Interpret Footage, and then inside of here, we're going to assume this frame rate of 30. Put in 30, hit OK, and now it's set to be 30. We can come over here and we can play it just the same as in, as, as in we do in After Effects. Although in Premiere, it does play a little bit weirder. It doesn't seem to play very smoothly at all. But if we drag this down into our project here, we can see that it is a very short 10 second animation that again doesn't quite play properly in Premiere, but it works well in a project. So that's something really quick I thought I would talk about of uh, taking footage from Blender to Open EXR or EXR files, they're fantastic quality. If you're bringing it into After Effects, you can just drag it in. After Effects just seems to know what to do. It's fantastic. It's a little bit more advanced for that. Premiere does not. You have to import from the file menu. And then once you bring it in, you're going to probably, unless your video is at 29 and 7, uh, you're probably going to need to modify uh, the footage, interpret it to whatever frame rate your footage is at. And then it will match up perfectly to what you originally did inside of Blender, which is usually some kind of tracking. And, uh, and that is that. And then we have our troll ready to be put over top of our live footage. So that's it. A really quick one. Hopefully that has been interesting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.